hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video as the title suggests is a how I met my husband video and how you can meet yours too so just trust the process and wait for it so I'll first of all start with how I met my husband and then go on to the second part of the video where I'll talk to you about other ways that you could meet your spouse including apps like the salams app so this is one that a lot of you were asking me about um kind of after I got married and I kind of just not done it until now so let's get straight into it get yourself some popcorn tea coffee whatever you want and let's go just in case you see me looking down I have written some notes just because I don't want to forget anything that I wanted to mention in the video okay so how did I meet my husband so basically it was one day I was in the car with my mom and dad and my mom goes to me oh Aisha there's a guy that um that one of her friends um Auntie Hafiza, um, knows he's like her really good friend's brother um, that she wanted to kind of hook us up with um, so I was kind of just like oh um, and then my mum was like yeah so he's um, he's doing his masters in the US and I thought oh that means he's gonna be younger than me so I was like mm. Um, and then she was like, let me, let me just confirm the details. So she went away, well, went away, confirmed the details. And then she comes back to me. She's like, oh, actually he's, um, he finished his master's in the UK and he's in the U S working. So I was like, oh, okay. And she was like, so do you want me to give, do you want him to have your number? And I was like, okay. <laughs> Cause at this point I was kind of just getting like, it was just like, okay, like, you know, because I'd been like, so many people had tried to hook me up with people and I don't know, I'd start to think, like, am I just really, really fussy or what? But like, what I knew was that I just wasn't going to settle for anybody. Like, I had to like the person. So anyway, so I was like, yeah, okay. So she did. And then one one November, um, I get a message, as alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. And I was like, okay, replied. And then we started talking. And then, um, yeah, he seemed really, he seemed normal, he seemed nice, he seemed, you know, he seemed really actually just like, it seemed like the most natural conversation. Um, and then he started calling me, um, and yeah, we just hit it off, like, we, we seemed really similar, um, our humour was quite similar, like, the conversation was just flowing, it was very, very natural, and it just felt different to any other conversations that I'd had with people in the past, and I was just like, hmm, okay. Um, and then, yeah, then a year later, then he um, came from the US to visit me, and again, it was just like, okay, yep, yeah, there's definitely, you know, there's definitely a connection. Um, and then, yeah, it kind of blossomed from there. Um, and... The rest, I guess, as they say, is history. And then we got married last year. Alhamdulillah. Guys, so as I was editing this video, I just remembered something funny from when he came to visit that I thought I might as well add into this video. It's nothing important or serious. It just made me laugh when I remembered. So like I said, he came to visit me a year after we started talking. And I remember going all the way to, all the way to London to the airport to meet him. Um, and I was running late and I was like, oh my God, I was literally, I remember running through the airport, walking so fast because I didn't want to be too late because I thought this is not a good look. Um, and then yeah, I get there, we meet up, and then the first thing we do is we go to uh, King's Cross, King's Cross Station, to grab some lunch because we were both so hungry. I think it was like pretty early in the morning, and um, so this sounds really silly, but like this is when I knew I was really comfortable with him was because we went and had a burrito. Like usually on like a first date, I would never have anything messy to eat. Like do you know, is it just me or like when you when you go to when you go on a first date, do you usually just like have like the easiest, cleanest, like least messiest thing to eat? Because that was me, right? But yeah, like I said, that's how I knew I was super comfortable with him because I didn't really care. I was just like hungry, let's just eat whatever, you know? So yeah, like I said, it wasn't anything like super important. It just I just remembered that and I thought I'd add it in. So that is really short and sweet, but that honestly is how it all happened um, from, my, from my end anyway. Um, so yeah, so I'm really lucky that I actually do have a lot of aunties who, who just, I guess they just love me so much that they, that they're always wanting to like hook me up with, um, guys, that they were always wanting to hook me up with guys and try to like match make, which is so sweet of them. Um, but yeah, um, this, this last one works. So what I would say is. 
because honestly the struggle to find a husband if you live in the western country in, in the western world well i can only really speak for the uk because that's where i'm from but um it is hard it's really hard and especially if you then add other factors such as living somewhere remote or living somewhere where there aren't any muslims um that makes it even harder and then if you want someone within your um from your country or your culture then that's like another layer so it, it really isn't easy and then um when you do find them then it's like sometimes they're just the quality is just not right or you know they're there's they're just not right for you right so yeah like i totally understand the struggle because it really is not easy for girls in the uk um and I reckon the US as well, but like I said, I'm just gonna speak for the UK for what I know. Um, it's really not easy at all. So yeah, like obviously if you have aunties and stuff, definitely just be like, you know, if you know anybody, you know, hook a girl up kind of thing. Because the thing is, it's not like saying that if they hook you up that you're gonna to have to marry them. It's literally, it, the, the matchmaking is just like an introduction, right? And then you decide for yourselves if you like each other you like each other if you don't you don't and the thing is i know not everyone has an auntie that can like kind of help hook them up um and you know maybe your aunties don't even, don't even know any guys um so then it's like when you have that and then you you don't live in a place where there's a lot of muslims and um, maybe the muslim community is super super small um or you just don't know them or if you're like super like firm on wanting to marry within your like culture or whatever then again like there's so many things that just add to the layers of difficulty so um i know it can get really frustrating and it's just like how do i find somebody and then it's so annoying when like people keep asking you when you're getting married when you're getting married as though like you know <laughs> so if you are in that place where you just feel like you're trying everything or like you're going out or whatever but you're just not meeting people then that brings me on nicely to the sponsors of this video the salams app so basically salams is a muslim marriage app um, and it's got a huge number of users it's got over 3.8 million users which is like a very large pool of people for you to pick from so i'm pretty sure if you're somebody that has a specific kind of culture that you're wanting to kind of target and i'm pretty sure that you'll find it within that and the app as well has facilitated 210,000 marriages so what i would say is to just download the app it's in the link down below in the description box download the app give it a try don't leave any soon unturned because sometimes i feel like as girls especially we're like super quick to dismiss apps like these but the thing is like when you go on the website you'll literally see all the success stories so just have a look at that because um you know yes there may be a lot of people on there that might try to talk to you that you're not into but at the end of the day if you don't try it you're never gonna know that that literally could be where your person is waiting for you that might be what god has written for you so yeah the link is down in the description box below download it and also just to let you know something as well that i didn't actually know this um, until i worked with salams is that they actually have um a side of the app which is for making friends so people like myself who have like literally moved far 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 away from home and don't really have any friends here so on the app when you download it basically um you have to register and then you get to a screen which i'll probably leave on the screen here which um, asks you to basically select if you're on the app for looking for love so marriage or if you're looking for friendship um and so like i for example would click on um connect and then it would then set up my account based on that um because that i know that was my concern when i remember the um when i remember the lady telling me about it the lady from salam's telling me about it and i was like mm, yeah i don't really because she was like oh did, did you know that you can like make friends on the app and i was like um yeah i didn't actually know that initially like before working with you um, and i did say to her like my only concern would be like i don't really want to be on a marriage app because i'm married you know so i don't want to be like out there whatever and then she said oh no like there's actually two completely different sides to the app um and on the friendship side like if you're a female for example so for me for example i could only see i would only be able to see females only females would be able to see me and i can only connect with females so it's very halal in that sense so yeah it's actually really smart i, I thought that's quite clever i had no idea about that side so um yeah obviously predominantly it's a it's a marriage app um so if 
that is what you're looking for then obviously download the app but also keep it in prayers keep it in your prayers as well like it's ramadan like prayers get accepted so pray hard for what you want be really specific in your prayers and inshallah i pray that everybody looking for a spouse will find one and yeah i hope you found this helpful like so the link is down below let me know what struggles you find um where you're from like obviously because i can only speak for like girls in the uk because that's where i'm from so i i know the struggles that we face in the uk it's like not there's just not not a lot of guys out there man so yeah let me know like where you're from and what kind of struggles that you think that you guys face where you're from um, and also are any of you on salams if any of you found success or know anyone that's found success leave it all down below let's encourage encourage each other support each other and you're not perfect so you cannot expect your future spouse to be either but at the same time i'm not saying settle for anybody you need to make sure that they have the fundamental kind of um qualities that you require the important ones um, and then everything else can just be an added added bonus but don't say that they have to have every single item on your list so yeah just thought i'd throw that in there because i know that that is one that a lot of girls do have and that is not going to help you at all sis yeah i hope you enjoyed this video found it useful if you did comment below let's have a little chit chat a little girly chat down below in the comment section and i'll catch you in my next video guys thank you bye